So in this week's case study, I'm going to go through what could make a simple sinus infection turn into multiple brain surgeries, such as that person. Uh, she has dedicated her TikTok to awareness for sinus infections and what can happen if they go untreated. Drop a comment below if you think you understand how this could possibly happen from a sinus infection and follow me to get the full answer video tomorrow. Caroline, Caroline, you are in terrible danger. So the answer to the case study, this is a young patient with sinusitis that ended up needing multiple brain surgeries. Now, of course, I am not her physician and I don't know details of the case. However, I think it should bring awareness to sinusitis and what could possibly happen as a rare complication. So the diagnosis is called POTS puffy tumor and it is a complication of chronic sinusitis. So what can happen is you can develop opacification or pus that builds up into the sinus cavity, which includes a funnel sinus, a maxillary sinus, the ethmoid sinus, and that can back up and cause infection to the frontal bone or the bone here and can lead to infection that can actually spread subperiosteally or along the skull into the cranium. So obviously this is not a common problem, so I don't want anybody that has acute sinusitis to get freaked out that they're going to need uh, brain surgery, but it is typically seen in younger patients. And what I mean by that is pediatric patients and young adolescents. So typically patients 20 or younger. Why it's typically seen in that age generation is because of the way our anatomy is as we develop, the way our sinuses develop and the way our blood vessels and veins drain, uh, which can lead this younger population to be more prone to this. So the infection can start in the sinuses and kind of spread to the cranium and can sometimes even get into the skull and even cause an epidural abscess or pus that develops under the skull between the brain, which I assume is why this patient needed brain surgery. So an epidural abscess is basically where you can get pus that collects between the skull and the brain, and that can be a medical emergency. This is a picture that I found online that can kind of demonstrate how it can look visually. And this is an MRI scan that shows where this can be infected in the sinuses and can spread to the space and even intrude and cause an abscess in the brain. The typical symptoms are headache, fever, uh, sinus drainage, forehead swelling, and can lead to altered mental status and acceleration of symptoms. Again, it's rare. It can be a complication of sinusitis that typically happens in the younger population can be treated with antibiotics plus or minus surgery. So I hope you guys learned something today. Follow me for more.